Hi everyone, I am Daniela with SBK and Associates. Today I'm going to go over VCAD in a few short videos. Uh, first things first is how do you create a VCAD instance? Now if you watched our earlier video about SOLIDWORKS using VCAD, you'll be a bit familiar with the platform itself. Uh, here I'm inside our portal already and I'm going to follow the steps for creating a brand new VCAD instance. This is very similar to having a desktop, uh, but it is accessible via web browser. So it makes it very nice to take uh, on your computer or on your tablet, and you can access a variety of applications, including SOLIDWORKS. So here's how to create that new instance. I'm going to go here to Workstation Views and select Advanced. Now that I'm here, I'm going to select Create New Workstation. Here you can name your instance whatever you'd like if you're using this for SOLIDWORKS only. You may name it SOLIDWORKS only. You can uh, give this instance whichever name you'd like. Uh, you also have the abilities to select a region. I'm on the West Coast, so I have the West uh, Coast here available for me. This is also great if you have uh, folks who are working in different locations overseas. Uh, you have the ability to have custom regions for that. Workstation image, this is also very helpful. Essentially, it allows you to make a default instance with apps loaded already on there. So let's say you have a new user creating an instance and they will be using SOLIDWORKS. Um, you can go ahead and have them select that image so they don't have to go through the installation steps and this can apply for anyone who needs to create a new instance with SOLIDWORKS. Um, you can have multiple images, so let's say you have folks who will be using AutoCAD. Um, you can have one specifically for AutoCAD as well. Here I'm just going to select one of our defaults and user assignment. So let's say you are creating this for someone else you have a user list to select from. I'm just going to assign it to myself and then I will click create workstation. Please note the first time you create a workstation, it may take a few moments. You can see it here in the background being created. So I'll go ahead and circle back once the machine has been created for use. Hi guys, so circling back in, uh, we can see that my new instance has been created right down here. And on the next video, I'll cover how to log into this instance via the web browser and the desktop client.